Hello, Fide Day parents and children, and welcome to this lesson on sin. As we have learned so far, a sin is, a, is an offense against God and neighbor. But what we're going to learn today is that there are different degrees of sin. All right, There's actually two different types of sin. Um, there's one called a venial sin and one called a mortal sin. So what do those two mean? Well, let's find out in today's video. All right, so let's first talk about a venial sin. All right, so a venial sin is a sin that's not that serious. All right, but it's still wrong. It's still something we shouldn't do. Um, but it's not something that's going to break our relationship with God. All right, it's something that actually wounds our relationship with God. All right, it hurts our relationship with God, but it doesn't break it. Let's give an example. Let's say I'm in a classroom. All right, and I'm next to my friend Billy over here. All right. And Billy um, is talking to our friend Jimmy on the other side. All right. Uh, now, Billy has three pencils on his desk. All right. And me, Mr. EJ, has zero pencils on his desk because he forgot his pencils at home. All right. Not very wise of him, right? Wasn't. All right. So we have a big test coming up, and I don't have a pencil. So instead of asking my friend Billy for a pencil, I decided, you know what? He's not looking. I'm just going to take one of his pencils without, without asking, all right, because he has three. What does he need another one for? All right, so I take that pencil. Was that the right thing to do? No, all right. Um, I should have asked him for that pencil, but because in my mind, I was like, eh, he's not going to need it. I'm just going to take it. Um, it wasn't the right thing to do, but it's now made me... Um, want to do it more, right? Because now I think, oh, I'm going to justify that. I'm going to make that okay in my mind. So I might continue doing it more, and then eventually it might lead me to do something worse, like steal a car. Ugh, don't want to do that, right? Um, so little things like that can lead to worse things, which is why they, they hurt our relationship with God and with our neighbor as well, even though they may not break it at the time. Okay, so that, that's a, an example of a venial sin, all right? And like I said, that wounds our relationship with God. All right, so let's, what does that mean? Let's take this popsicle stick, for example, all right? If I, like I, I took my pencil from Billy, all right, and that's wrong. Um, it's not very serious, but it's wrong. But that wound my relationship with God, all right? It's not something God wanted me to do. So what I did was I made a little crack in that relationship with God. See, I'm still intact. I'm still in relationship with God. I'm not falling off. I'm still, I can still move around. I can still uh, be in a state of grace, which means I, I, I'm I not in a serious sin, all right? I didn't break my relationship with God, all right? But it, it hurt my relationship with God. Now I have a crack, and now I have to ask God to forgive me, and I can do that by going to the sacrament of communion, all right? Um, now, a mortal sin. Let's talk about that for a second. Now, a mortal sin is something that is very serious, but it's also something that I was done with full knowledge, meaning I know it's wrong. I'm still going to do it. And full consent, mean, meaning no one's forcing me to do it. I'm doing this because I want to do it. All right. So that's what makes a, a mortal sin. I'm, it's, a, it's a serious sin, okay, a grave matter. I'm doing it with full knowledge and I'm doing it with full consent. Okay. So that, those are three things that make a mortal sin. So let's give an example of that. Let's say, again, I have my friend Billy over here. But this time on his desk, he has his grandfather's, uh, his grandfather's pen. All right. Now this pen means a lot to him, all right, because it was given to him by his grandfather. And I see it. I'm like, ooh, I really want that pen because it's shiny, and I just really like it. All right. Um, now I know it's wrong for me to take it. All right, because I know it's not part of God's will. God doesn't want me to take this pen. I know my friend doesn't want me to take his pen. All right. Um, and no one's forcing me to do it, all right? But I'm going to do it anyway because I just want to do it. All right, so I go ahead and take that pen without him noticing, all right? Now, if Billy ever found out, would that break my relationship with him? Probably, all right? He, he, it would probably break our relationship and we'd have to go through his whole forgiveness process in order to get back into the relationship, all right? And that is what happens, all right? Uh, with our relationship with God when we do that as well. So me taking that pen not only breaks my relationship with Billy, but it breaks my relationship with God because I did something that was against his will. All right, so let's go back to this popsicle stick. All right, so the venial sin just made a little crack. But now with a mortal sin, what did that do? 
kaboom, broke my relationship with God. All right, now I can't I can't go to communion. All right, because I'm on, I'm not in a relationship with God anymore. All right, I I, I decided to break that relationship. Um, so now my only way to actually come back into back into union with God is through the sacrament of confession. All right, which is a sacrament that God gave us in order for him to come back in relationship with us. It's God's mercy. God, even though we, we messed up and, and and do terrible sins, all right, terrible things against his will and choose not to be in relationship with him, he still wants to be in relationship with us. All right? And that's why he made the sacrament of confession, which we're going to learn about in lesson three. All right? So I hope that makes sense and clarifies what immortal and a venial sin is. And I hope to hear again or see see you guys again in the next video. All right, have a good day and God bless.